Samsung Galaxy S9 is probably the most anticipated smartphone of 2018 and as you guys know we have already created our concepts based on leaks and rumors. It's pretty evident that Samsung would try to increase the screen to body ratio of the Samsung Galaxy S9 and we know as Samsung is the manufacturer of the iPhone X display we could expect similar kind of a notch design for the Galaxy S9. Now coming to the display size, it seems Samsung would stick to the 5.7 inch screen size for the S9 and 6.2 inch for the S9 Plus. Now talking about the much remote in-display fingerprint scanner, the latest report suggests the S9 won't have the in-display fingerprint scanner, we could only expect it in Note 9. So there is a high probability that we would see a rear fingerprint scanner just like the Galaxy S8 but will be reallocated to the center for better ergonomics. Now coming to the camera department, we expect to see 8 megapixel front facing camera and a 12 megapixel dual camera module on the back with isocell sensor just like the Galaxy Note 8. Now that said, Samsung has recently announced that they have created two new isocell sensors. The first one is called isocell fast 2L9 sensor which is a 12 megapixel sensor with 1.28 micron pixel size. And since it's a dual pixel sensor, there will be two photodiodes in each pixel which will deliver faster and high accuracy autofocus and according to Samsung, it can deliver pleasing bokeh effects just with a single camera. The second sensor that they have developed is called Isocell Slim 2X7 which is a 24 megapixel sensor which is also the first sensor to use a pixel size less than 1 micron from Samsung. Samsung has also integrated Tetracell technology on this sensor which will combine four neighboring pixels to increase light sensitivity in darker condition which promises to deliver low noise images even in darker environments. At this point it's not clear whether they will use these sensors on the S9 but both of them are premium sensors we could expect to see them on future flagship of the Samsung smartphones. Maybe the Note 9 would be the first smartphone to use both these sensors with 12 megapixel on the front and 24 megapixel on the back. Now coming to the performance aspect, the Galaxy S9 would be powered by Snapdragon 845 coupled with 6 or 8 GB of RAM. The new processor is expected to bring 30% performance improvement compared to the Galaxy S8. Now coming to the launch date, the new leaks suggest that Samsung has already started working on the firmware 2 weeks earlier than what they did with the Galaxy S8 and it, it completely makes sense especially considering the competition from the iPhone X, Samsung would definitely want to bring the S9 to the market as early as possible. We won't be surprised if the Galaxy S9 will be announced in February and will be available by March. Now coming to the price point, there's a high probability that we would see the Galaxy S9 launched at around $1000 price range. They are very close to the Note 8 because Samsung would definitely try to increase the sales volume and that's what the strategy is. So guys, uh, that's pretty much that we have here about the Galaxy S9. We would be happy to know about your thoughts on this video and uh, if you like this video, hit the like button, share with your friends and stay subscribed for more.